Hey welcome back! In this video I'm going to show you how to make chocolate covered strawberries that look like characters from My Neighbor Totoro. Let's get started! And you'll only need 4 ingredients and the first is obviously strawberries. And you'll need big strawberries for the large Totoros, slightly smaller ones for the medium ones and tiny ones for the small ones. But of course you don't have to make every type, that's just what I'm doing. The next thing you'll need is almonds for the ears, though I'm sure there's lots of things that you could substitute instead. Just carefully cut these in half and push them in the strawberries for the ears. And you might need to cut them in quarters for the really small Totoros. Then melt some white chocolate. And you can do this in the microwave if you want, but I used a bain marie, which is just a heatproof bowl over a pot of gently simmering water. And if you do this, make sure that the heat's on low and the water in the pot doesn't touch the bottom of the bowl. And since we're using chocolate, I should mention tempering. Basically tempering the chocolate will keep it shiny and stop it from losing shape after setting. And I'm not going to go into explaining how to do it, but I'll leave a link below to a really good video that can help. And if you want to skip the tempering, then you can just use compound chocolate, and that's also explained in the video, so check that out. Alright, getting back into it. Pour the chocolate into a glass that's taller than your strawberries, then pat the strawberries with a paper towel to remove any excess liquid. And then if you want to, you can take off the stems and then put the strawberries onto a fork or cake pop stick. And start with the smaller strawberries and dunk into the white chocolate and cover evenly. Tap off any excess chocolate and leave to harden. So once you're done with your small white ones, you want to add a little bit of blue gel or paste based food dye to the chocolate and just mix until this is like a light blue. And then literally just repeat all the same steps for the medium sized strawberries with the blue chocolate. And once they're all done, add a little bit of black fruit dye to the chocolate to make it grey. And then, you guessed it, repeat again. And just leave them all to harden completely. And so then it's time to add the details. So the white ones were just really simple with a black dot and a circle around it for the eyes. Though to be honest, I found these the hardest because the strawberries were so small and it was really hard to get the details. So these were kind of my least favorite. If I was going to do it again, I'd probably just make the bigger ones because the little white Totoros aren't exactly as recognizable and I just didn't think it was worth the effort because they were so small. But that's just me. But moving on, the decorations for the medium and big Totoros were almost the same, so just start by adding the tummy and you can pipe or spoon on some white chocolate and just neaten this with a toothpick. And then just add two white dots for the eyes. And once they're set, add a little black dot on each to complete the eyes and then add a little black oval for the nose. And then again using black, add some whiskers. Then lastly for the blue ones, draw three little triangle kind of chevron arrow looking things in blue. And do the same for the big grey Totoros, but add four extra lines underneath. And this is what they look like finished. You can use these as like cupcake toppers or put them in a cute little box as a gift. But I decided to make mine like a little dessert dish. And you don't have to do this exactly as I did, but if you want to, I started with a slice of brownie and then I took some matcha powder and dusted this over the top to look like grass. And then I piped just little swirls of frosting and placed my Totoro strawberries on top. And then I kind of felt like this was a little plain, so lastly I added some fondant decorations that I already had, just to kind of give it a pop of colour, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really happy with how these turned out, <laughs> they're definitely not perfect, and the white ones kind of are 
hauntingly bad but I still think it's cute and I think anyone would like getting this as a gift so thank you for watching and if you like this video please subscribe and feel free to leave a thumbs up and a comment of what sort of thing you'd like to see next and yeah thanks again for watching